Well, our history is only four years here. Originally, we were from Western Queensland. The boys found this place and we've looked at green ever since. So. This place here was developed about 20 odd years ago into a cattle fattening block. With the loosen that you see now, there's lots of things you can't control. You can't control the weather or your commodity prices, but if you've got irrigation, you can control the weather to an extent. Because we had no experience at growing hay, we bought a heap of new gear. All that come at a cost and that was an Another one of the reasons why we thought that solar has got to be a good thing, you know. Those power bills are, are that much reduced by the fact that we can operate most of these pumps between eight and four in the day and, and they cost us absolutely nothing to run. Yeah, there's six pumps here at the moment. All of the pumps can be used off the solar, pumping anywhere from um, onto this stuff behind us here to um, doing the stock water. It's a big plus, like not having to pay 40 or 50 dollars an hour in power it's just a really a no-brainer so yeah there's probably a fair bit of machinery just for a little block of land that's only you know a bit over a thousand acres but i suppose it's the productivity of that thousand acres that sets it aside for us as something you know really worthwhile well, we rang sam and he came out within probably the first week of us talking to him they had a look at the bores and exactly positions and everything for the panel so um, from then we got a quote from Sam and so we had a figure that we could work on in our budgets and go from there. Brian gave me a quick brief that they were trying to reduce the energy cost on the property in the short term and, and make the property more sustainable into the future. And they also wanted me to have a look at the whole farming operation at, at a holistic view instead of just slapping solar panels on and walking away, which is what a lot of people do. So I spent a few hours with Brian and Linda chatting about how the farm operates, getting an understanding of their different pumping systems, and then also understanding what loads can be shifted and what loads can't be shifted, and that helps me to size the system accordingly. On this property, there's three 40 kilowatt systems. Each 40 kilowatt system has 88 Canadian 450 watt modules and then the residential property has 18 Canadian 370 watt modules on it. We had to go back to the 370 watt modules for the house just to suit the screw lines and that also helped us get to the 6.6 .6 kilowatts as close to the maximum allowed on a 5 kilowatt inverter and we can see from the monitoring that this perfectly covers their daytime pumping load. Yeah, so this property had eight different energy meters. After talking to Brian and Linda, I was able to work out that we could actually delete three of these meters and we don't have to have eight solar systems. We've only now got four and they're, they're covering nearly all the loads across the whole farm. Brian being an ex-builder, he was pretty aware that some of the systems were going to need to be ground mounted. I was able to do some redesign work and get one of the systems on a shed. This obviously saved a little bit of money and it also utilised the shed and makes it a little bit cooler in summer by adding a bit of insulation. Panel Selection's Canadian Solar for this job. One of the first reasons is that they, at the time, made the biggest module that suited Solar Terrace 2. By using a bigger module means that we don't have to install as much racking. Canadian Solar is also you know, a long time player in the game. They're pioneers in the solar industry. They've been around for a long time. Their warranties are going to stick with us and, and hold up. So that, that's probably the, the reasons be, behind the um, selection of Canadian Solar and they're also at a good price point, so that, that also helps. For all four jobs here, we've used the PV Easy Rack by Clenergy. We're very familiar with this product. We've been using it for about seven years now. The reason I probably started using Clenergy was because just the rail felt a lot nicer in the hand than other brands. It felt strong. And then once I got further into it, Clenergy sort of supported me along the way. I've got a real knack for finding tricky jobs and Clenergy's always been there and supported me with their engineering on these jobs. So on one of the systems we use the Solar Terrace 2 and as we can see this is the new product here which is the UX model of Solar Terrace PV Easy Rack. As you can see it's super simple to put together. It's only like five bolts I think and then the main structure is up. So. With the angle and orientation of these systems, you can probably tell that they're 
in a bit of a V. The reason for this is that we've actually got 40 kilowatts of panels on a 30 kilowatt inverter. We don't want to face all the panels in the northern direction or the inverter will just sit maxed out for a short period of the day. I wanted to try and get more of a morning and afternoon production line rather than a a small peaky production line. So the angle of the panels as well is at around 20 degrees and that's optimum for this area and the orientation of the panels. Our inverter selection here, we went with a SunGrow inverter. This particular 30 kilowatt inverter suited the design of the system for us. It's three MPPTs, which was also helpful in this situation. The SunGrow inverter brand itself, as most of us probably know that are in the solar industry, it is the highest selling product by far. This gives me confidence that the brand is going to be around to service the warranty in the future if required. So yeah, I'm extremely happy with SunGrow. They come at a great price point, good warranty, and really good service and backup support there. So that's why we ended up with the SunGrow product. We've got four SunGrow inverters installed at this property three 30 kilowatt inverters and one five kilowatt inverter for the residential house. The three 30 kilowatt inverters are installed relatively close to where the panels are. This increases the efficiency of the inverter and makes sure we don't have too many DC losses. And it also means that in the future, if we want to move to doing some smart pumping and smart switching, we're able to do that due to the network that we built on this property to make the monitoring work. There's no phone reception here, so we couldn't use a IM4 dongle by SunGrow. So we put together a ubiquity point-to-point -point network. So now we've got internet available down here in this shed and also in the other three locations where the inverters are, as there is internet at the house and we're broadcasting that down here. SunGrow's monitoring platform is probably one of the easiest monitoring platforms to understand for the homeowner. It also allows us to get very good remote access by doing remote firmware updates. We can also get in and see individual string voltages and it really helps us with any problem solving. SunGrow is also able to get in even further to the inverter than us and able to track pro if there is any problems or see what's going on because this site is extremely remote. It's around four hours from where I live. So we needed that level of access into the back end system. Don't be scared about solar. I know there's a lot of people out there that do have a bit of a fear factor around it and that's understandable. Use someone who's an electrical contractor who can come and have a look at a holistic approach to your property and potentially design a system that can save you thousands moving forward and making your property a more sustainable property and also more economically viable into the future. Linda, tell us a little bit more about uh, the community. For a small community, we couldn't get any, anything friendlier and everyone helps each other and, you know, like even for here, if the boys have a breakdown, well, the neighbour across the road or up the road somewhere, he'll come with his or they'll help him and it's just been, yeah, really enlightening to be so welcome to here. Yeah. Joe, how's the move been for yourself? You only get out of the community what you put in, so yeah, being part of that's been really good and you've met a lot of people and different crews and yeah, it's been really good.